Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see the review of Tesla ROM for Nexus 5. Tesla ROM is maintained under Ground Zero ROM community. This community is known for providing some great ROMs like Validus OS, Tipsy OS and Tesla. So Tesla ROM is based on GZ OSP that is AOSP with CAF optimization technique applied. So with this unique combination, what does Tesla ROM provides? Let's check it out. Now installation of Tesla ROM is very simple. On the official Google Plus page for Ground Zero ROM, you will find the links for latest build of Tesla ROM. Otherwise, you can also grab the ROM file from XDA thread for Tesla ROM. I will put the link for both of them in description below. For gapps, Banks Dynamic gapps are recommended, but you can also use Open gapps. Also, you will have to get the latest SuperSU file for gaining the root access. Links for gapps and SuperSU will be given in description below. Now, after getting all these files, just head towards recovery and flash the ROM file, gapps file and SuperSU file and you will have Tesla ROM installed on your device. In customization department, the Tesla ROM provides lots of customization options. In settings menu, you will find a tab called Tesla Coil. Under this tab, you will find all the customization options available on this ROM. So under system, you will find options to customize power menu and expanded desktop. Under lock screen, you can customize bottom shortcuts, weather on lock screen, tap to sleep on lock screen and lock screen battery. Under status bar, there are options for clock battery, quick settings, traffic indicators, status bar items, notifications, carrier label and tap to sleep. Under navigation, you will find option for navigation bar, pie control and button settings. Under multitasking, there is screenshot and recent menu customization. Omni switch is also provided as an alternative recent menu. So these were the customization options available on Tesla ROM. In theme department, Tesla ROM has full OMS support for Substratum. So you can apply any Substratum theme with this ROM and customize your UI as per your taste. In my opinion, Substratum is the best way to theme your device. So we have seen what Tesla ROM offers. Now let's see how it performs. So it's been over a month I'm using Tesla ROM on my device and I just really enjoy its performance. In day to day usage, this ROM is very stable. I did not notice any major bug in this ROM. Due to the CAF optimizations, this ROM is very snappy. Tesla ROM is very lean toward performance. Gaming on this ROM is very smooth. Multitasking on this ROM is very fluid experience. Also multi window mode works lag free and smooth. Only con that I can found on this ROM is the broken video recording. You can't record a video using provided camera app. So that's the only downside but it may get fixed in the next update. So with this exception, Tesla ROM performs excellent. In battery performance, Tesla ROM is kind of average. As I mentioned before, Tesla ROM is leaned toward performance and because of that, the battery performance of this ROM is average. With stock kernel, my average SOT was nearly 2 hours and 50 minutes. So Tesla ROM performs poorly in battery department. With this, it's time for my final thoughts about Tesla ROM. This ROM will provide you an excellent performance without any hiccups. But that great performance comes at a price of average battery life. So if you prefer performance over battery life, then this ROM is great for you. Personally, I really like the combination of AOSP and CAF that Tesla ROM provides. In my opinion, it's a good ROM. I just wish that they should fix the broken video recording bug really soon. So it's time to wrap the review of Tesla ROM for Nexus 5. So to summarize, here is a list of pros and cons of Tesla ROM. So what do you think about Tesla ROM? Let me know in the comments below and smash that like button below if you find this video informative. Share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video. You can follow me on Google Plus Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video.